Hi everyone, I'm Katie Farner, director for the Sunshine State Superstars. I have talked to you guys many times about using free services to send out awesome, professional looking campaigns to your customers. The one I frequently use is MailChimp, M-A-I-L-C-H-I-M-P.com. And I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to use MailChimp and create a campaign. So I apologize, I'm not on my laptop, so I can't screen share with you guys and show you really the way I would like to, but at work today I created a campaign, so I wanted to just make a video to show you. So I'm just gonna kinda crudely film my computer screen with my phone, so bear with me. It's not gonna be the prettiest, but hopefully it will really get the point across. So I'm gonna spin you around, and I'm gonna show you what I've done here. So here is MailChimp. I really like it. It's free. I feel like it's very user friendly, especially because I am not tech savvy at all. At all. I mean, some of you might watch this and think, oh, I already know how to do that. That's so simple. But maybe some of you will watch it and think, awesome. I don't know how to use MailChimp. So thank you. Um, so first I'm going to show you this. My friend Christina Osborne, superstar director with Sensi. She's fabulous. She shared this campaign that she made on Mad Meanie. She uses Mad Meanie, another free campaign service. So this is what she shared with me. And I absolutely loved it. It's beautiful. It's eye catching. She did such a great job and she was so generous to share it with us. So I literally copy and pasted this entire thing. Obviously, I would change a few things like the contact information and the photo, um, but for the most part, I pretty much copied and pasted exactly what she did. So I'm going to be sharing mine on the team Facebook page, allowing you to literally copy and paste as well and send this out to your customers. So when mine is shared on the team Facebook page, all you're going to need to do is right click on the images and save them to your computer. So like this image right here of Lulu the lamb, right click, save image as, and then it's gonna be saved to your computer. I like to save all of mine on my desktop, like they're all right here, all the ones I was gonna be needing to make my campaign. And then you can easily just drag and drop into your campaign. So any of the images that you're gonna use when I share this with you, right click on the image, save it to your computer, and then you'll be able to upload it to your newsletter. The text, you'll be able to literally just right click, copy and paste the text as well. This, this campaign, when I just put mine together, it took me no more than 10 minutes. And when you're not doing, when you're not able to copy and paste, it does take a little longer, but it really doesn't take that long. So when you're setting up your MailChimp, you're gonna want to get your contacts from your workstation into your MailChimp account. Um, and so you're going to easily export those from your workstation to an Excel spreadsheet. When you go into your workstation, you run your performance tab or you go to your contacts tab, there is an option at the top to export to Excel. So export it to Excel and then once you have it in an Excel spreadsheet, all you have to do is copy and paste. And then once you create your MailChimp account, it's gonna ask you if you wanna create a, a database. And so I have a customer database and a team database. And um, so for the customer one, you, you would just create it, name it, whatever you wanna name it. Mine's called Sensi Customers. And then you copy and paste right from the Excel document and MailChimp will sort all of them it's so convenient, so easy, and if you have a ton of contacts like I do, it usually takes, um, you know, like 20 minutes or so to sync them. And what's cool is, as you add, every time you are going to send out a new campaign, you need to resync your customer database because if you've been doing parties or events, of course you've gained new contacts. So you can easily just export your contacts again and then copy and paste again. And MailChimp is so smart, it's gonna identify any duplicates and so it won't copy any of the duplicates. And that's how you can easily update your contact list in MailChimp. So when it comes to creating this, you're going to select create a campaign or start a campaign. That's what these are called, campaigns. So I always do the exact same one. It's just a simple HTML 
um, vertical format. So everything's just going to come down here vertically. I don't do anything fancy pants. So when you actually come to start designing it, you're going to select whatever you want here. So the very first thing at the top is usually an image. So you would select image and you would right click on it and see you drag it and then you can drop it wherever you want that image. That's how I put that image here. So once you drag and drop that you want an image in this part of your newsletter, you can actually just drag and drop the image. So you would come over here to this 10% off sale and you would drag and drop it into the place where you want the photo. It's that simple. So once you've done your photo, then it's time to have the text below. So I literally just copy and pasted Christina's awesome text from right here and put it here. So this would be a text box. So you would, you would have dropped and dragged the text box here and then you could click edit and that's where you would copy and paste your text. See, I'll do it again. So I'm gonna copy, I'm gonna remove it. So see, now it's empty there. The little text is all gone. So you would just right click, oops, sorry, I didn't right click. So you just right click and paste and there it all goes. Save and close. Now you've got that done. So next in her lineup was the discontinued warmers flyer and the discontinued scents flyer. So again, you just click the image drag it here and that's how this box is created because I selected to put an image there in that part of the newsletter and then you just drag and drop your image did it again I could have put image I could have put text here if I wanted there's a lot of different options that you could have put here but I liked her layout so I did it just like she did discontinued warmers discontinued scents and then oh dragged and dropped a text box so there's where I put all that text drag and dropped an image box and then put the image there in the image box. Drag and drop to text box and then put the text there. Literally just copy and pasting, copy and pasting. If you can right click, you too can do this. It's so easy. Drag and drop the image box. I want another image right there just like she did. Drag and drop the image. Text, copy and paste. Another image box, another image box another text box, another image box with a drag and drop image, a couple drag and drops. What I did here was actually the image group instead of an individual image. So I dragged and dropped the image group here and put the three images in there. And then here's my ending. So I chose the image and caption. That's what I drag and dropped right there. See how it says drop block here? It's expecting for you to drop it. See. So I dragged my photo to this box and that's how it became here like it did. And then I added my text to this part. So this is on the left hand side of the screen is your um, basically pr basically your preview of your newsletter or your campaign. And then on the right is where you're actually doing the editing. So I don't need this here. So I'm just going to click delete. Yes. So, and then at the bottom here, this is the social follow. You can drag and, drag and drop the social follow, and then you can add all of your things so people can follow you. So if you wanna see how you do that, once you see, I don't, you know, I'm not some genius <laughs> putting these in here. It does it for me. It knows that, all, it knows all of the different social media platforms. So you would select the social media platform that you wanted, so it was Facebook. And so you actually just go to your personal Facebook page and you copy and paste the URL that's in the top search bar, paste it there. Your personal website, same thing. Go to your personal website, copy and paste that URL and put it there. YouTube, oh, why is my YouTube one gone? Good thing I still have it up. So you copy and paste the URL of your personal YouTube channel or your personal Facebook page or whatever and then you select the right option and you paste it there. And then save and close. Good thing I did this because otherwise my YouTube link would not have worked. So that's how easy it is to create a MailChimp campaign. And you have so many different options. Like I said, I just like to use the basic um, design. So once you actually have 
proofread and you approve of your design. And you can do different things like um, you can choose color for the sides, like you can see hers is pink on the sides. So you can choose to do something like that if you want to do that. Um, like here's like the different color options. You would just go to body and then that's where you can edit that and do different colors and things like that. See, and then here's like background style if you want background color, borders, heading color, letter spacing. This is where you can determine all of that stuff. It's really user friendly and really easy. So say you want to preview it, you can click up here, enter preview mode, and it's going to show you a preview of what your newsletter is going to look like. It shows you on your mobile app what it would look like, you know, on your cell phone, and it also shows you on a desktop what it would look like. So here you can see the preview of what it's going to look like. And here's the preview of what it's going to look like on a cell phone. Pretty cool, huh? I love MailChimp. I really do. It's easy. I love to use it. So, um, you know, right now we're in preview mode. So if you want to exit preview mode, you just click that X. And that's really it. So when you're all done, you're actually just going to click next. And then it's going to um, let you know some things about here. I'll go ahead and do it. So it shows the list that you want to mail it to and how many recipients are in that list. You can edit that here. It shows you your subject line. You can even test your subject line and see if it's going to get some good feedback or not because your subject line makes a huge difference, especially regarding like if it goes into spam or things like that. Um, it asks you where you want your replies to go to tracking. What's so cool is you're going to be able to see all of your opens, you know, who opened this and all of those things using this. So once you approve all of that, you're going to click send and then that's literally it. It's going to go out to all of your people just like that. So I hope this video was super helpful for you to see how you can use MailChimp to consistently communicate in a professional way with your customers. Happy MailChimping. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time.